So here's what we're looking to create today. Pretty simple pipe rack model, right? Uh, one of the things I loved about being in the industry when I got pipe rack jobs is they're kind of a bread and butter deal. And I, I'm pretty sure everybody would agree with me on that. Sometimes you get some funky ones that have a little bit of uh, weird geometry to them or, you know, uh, not a lot of repetition. But a lot of times when I had the, the experience of detailing pipe racks, there's a lot of repetition in there pretty easy things to detail and SDS2 is going to be really really great for that type of a project. One thing I want to note and maybe I didn't touch on this yet in the presentation uh, today's webinar is geared more toward uh, detailers who are looking to make the jump over to SDS2 or are new to SDS2 and are just looking for some tips on how to run the basics in the model. So um, unlike some of my other webinars that are more in-depth with new tools or different workflows, this one may not be for more of the advanced user. Still feel free to stick around. You might pick a few things up, and that'd be great. I uh, just want to put that out there, though. So if you're a new user looking to make the switch, this presentation's for you. So like I said, here's what our end result's going to be. And here's where we're going to start. So you can see I have some of the model already in there. In the interest of time, we're not going to put in this whole model today. Uh, it's pretty quick, but I don't want to bore you with the repetition of, of detail. And you guys do that every day. You want to focus on what the software can do for you today. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things I love to show uh, inside of SDS2 is the ability to put PDFs directly inside the model. It's a really simple process. So uh, I've got one in here already to start with. You can see the scale is off. I'm going to show you how we can adjust that really quickly. So let's open up the 100 foot O plan view I've already created. And jump down here and we can see that uh, we have the drawing in there. Like I said, the scale is not, not right. We're going to get that fixed up and then we'll make sure it's in the right location. So. Let's start with the scale. I'm going to go ahead and select on it to make sure I'm on the right one. Select this scale drawing single axis. Grab my first point. Grab my second point. Tell it that is supposed to be 20 feet. Let's zoom out here. And it looks like it didn't put it in the right place because my work point's off. That's okay. I'm going to come in here to set reference point. It's going to ask me, do I want to keep it? No, I want to create a new one. And then finally, we're just going to move that down here into place. Oh, I think we're in good shape now, ready to rock and roll and start putting some iron in. 